Hello, and welcome to an episode of ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you a safe and secure way to erase data off your old hard drive. We're going to be using this tutorial, or software. It's made by AOMEI, Partition Assistant Home Edition. And it's free for the private and commercial use. And if you read the description of the video, I'll give you a link to go to. Uh, I will also show you at the end of the video the link to download your copy of the software. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, show you how to delete and wipe data from your hard drive. Uh, it's important to do so because many people like myself, and I know you, watching this video probably have the same thing uh, you know you got a lot of family photos and you do your accounting online and uh, keep your uh, taxes and whatever on your computer and anything passwords whatnots websites blah 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 you know is on your computer is on the hard drive now if you've done migrating the OS like I've demonstrated on our channel um, or if you disk copied or, you know, wherever the case may be, uh, what do you do with the old hard drive? Okay, well, you know, just because you delete something doesn't mean it's actually gone. If you watched my video tutorial that I did with this software on uh, recovering a deleted partition, <laughs> you can see how easy it was. Well, I mean... Anybody who gets a hold of your hard your old hard drive, they can do the same thing. Yes, there are software out there that can help people recover data from a hard drive. And if you're going to get rid of your old hard drive, you need to make sure that all the data on the hard drive is cleaned out or wiped out in this case. Uh, there are software out there that does it. Uh, the feature is included in this software, uh, and it's very simple to use. Um, here we have the window you're probably familiar with. It uh, lists all the hard drives. In this video, we're going to work with disk 4, and I know it's a, this is a little different from the other tutorials that I've shown because I'm using a different computer. My other one... Uh, I'm having to work on it, and I'm in also in the process of upgrading the operating system on it. Uh, also, I apologize for the screen. I'm, I'm using a different camera because my old one took a dump. And as you can see, this has not been a very good weekend. I'm having to work. I had to work on the weekend to get stuff caught up at work, and. Now I've got a computer to work on because I screwed it up. Yep, I'm not perfect. And I'm having to fix that. And my camera took a dump. So I, <laughs> you can tell this hasn't been a very good weekend. But that's beside the point. Uh, first thing we need to do is we're going to work with disk 4. As you can see here, I have it all highlighted with these two partitions. Uh, some partitions... Uh, are single like this one here this drive here only has one partition uh, many of today's computers are like this one here which is my primary drive uh, it's got multiple partitions that little block over here on the end uh, if you look down here it's a better way of seeing it uh, it's got more than one partition now you can delete a partition and you can wipe a partition but if you're going to get rid of the hard drive, the best thing to do is wipe the entire drive. Now, all you have to do is, I'm going to highlight disk 4 here, where it's green. Now, if you look to the left, you'll see delete all partitions and wipe hard drive. Now, you also get the same commands if you right click the drive. And you'll notice it also has a wipe hard drive and a delete all partitions. Either way will work. Now, if you're going to do it quickly, 
you can use the function of delete all partitions. It's faster than the wipe hard drive, but you know, there's always that possibility that somebody can still recover data from the hard drive. Now you can choose delete all partitions. Again, uh, if you delete it, the data is still there. It's just flagged for deletion. So if the hard drive needs this empty space, it's been flagged, it can still use it. But the information can stay on there for a month or so before the space is ever used again. And that's plenty of time for somebody to, you know, try to recover important data on there. And this is a lot of times how identity theft happens. Uh, you can choose the delete all partitions and wipe all data on the hard drive. This is the preferred method, especially if you're going to give the hard drive away to somebody else or if you're going to throw it away, this would be the best thing to use. Now, this is the express. This will only do a single pass. We'll choose OK. Now, this is what it's going to look like once it's finished. Over here, you have your pending operations. And then when you're ready, you choose Apply. Now, as you can see here, uh, it's going to show uh, delete the partition, which is disk 4 that we're working on. It's going to wipe all the data. And it's going to tell you the size. Now, down here, uh, I'll give you something to go by because it helps out to figure how long these take. Uh, it also depends on the system. Uh, how fast the drive is and how fast your computer is. Uh, down here it says the estimated time. This is a 120 gigabyte hard drive, but it's only showing like 111.8. But it's going to take just over three, uh, th over an hour to wipe it out. And this is only a single pass. Uh, to calculate an estimate of how long it would take to wipe out a hard drive, uh, take the size of the drive and multiply that by uh, 1 minute and 45 seconds or 1 and 3 quarters. And that will give you some kind of an idea as to how uh, long it will take. Because it's usually about uh, 1 minute and 45 seconds to for every gigabyte that the software is erasing. So the larger the drive, the longer it will take. Now this is the Express. Uh, this will only do a single uh, pass to wipe. Now another way you can do it is we can, uh, let me get rid of the operation. Now we have this back. Now another way you can do this is doing the wipe hard drive which is this function over here. You can also click it, right click the drive, and you'll also see wipe hard drive in the submenu. Now this one here is more secure because you can choose how many passes that the software will make to erase the data on your drive. Now most standard software will use seven passes and so Remember, it takes about 1 minute and 45 seconds for every gigabyte of data of drive to erase. Now, if you click on help, it does give you, uh, you know, instructions of what to do. And yes, it can prevent undesired recovery of your deleted data. Now, it will let you do it anywhere between 1 to 100 passes. Now, I'm not sure who would be needing a 100 pass to erase data. Usually, after you do 7, it's usually gone. And yet, there is some software out there that does 35 passes. But it gives you an idea of, you know, how to start. And I'm going to show you how. Uh, we're going to choose 7 passes. Next, I'm going to choose OK. Now, you'll notice that the drive shows that it's wiped out, but it's not finished. 
Remember, over here you have your pending operations. This is the order of operations that's going to take place. Well, currently we only have one. Now we're going to choose Apply. And again, as you can see here, it's going to, it shows it different. It still shows that we're going to do disk 4, but it also shows the number of passes it's going to erase. Each pass goes from start of the, of the uh, drive to the end of the drive. And the first one I showed you is the Express, and it only does it once. And all it does is writes random, random data from start to finish. Now, this one here will do it seven times. Now, down here in the bottom, again, it shows you how long it will take. This one here is going to take just under seven and a half hours. That's quite a long time. Now, if you're going to do something like this, let me show you what else you can do to help speed things up. Well, it won't actually speed it up, but you'll see what I'm going to say here. Uh, notice I have it working now and it's wiping the hard drive now it will show you the progress the current operation in the progress it will show you uh, where it's at this is the first pass that it's on and it's wiping it shows you how far it's gone out of the total now if you look down here, you'll see a, a check part. It says shut down the computer after completing all operations. Now remember, a while ago it said it's going to take seven hours. So if it, if the best time to do this, as I was talking about, is if you're going to be done with the computer for the day and you're going to you know get ready for bed or you're just done with the computer you can go ahead and have the software shut the computer down for you when it's finished. All you have to do is check it. It'll say shut down the computer after completing the operation. And that's it. You let it continue. Now, you can still work with the computer as long while it's doing this. But if you're finished, you can just get up, go about your normal uh, routine, and then uh, when you come back to so use your computer again, and in this case, eight hours, then you know that your computer has been shut down. And this comes in handy. And this is basically all there is to do. Now, now you can come back once you restart your computer, if you chose the shutdown, and you'll notice that back at the window, it shows that the data has now been deleted, and it's no longer there. Well, that's all there is to it. You can choose how many passes you want to do, from 1 to 100. I demonstrated how to use the express feature, which only does one pass. And I showed you how to do more in-depth deletion or erasure using multiple passes. Now, again, you can uh, right-click the drive. You can choose uh, wipe the hard drive. Or you can choose the delete all partitions. And this is basically all there is to do for the drive. Well, I am your host, Mr. Fixit. This has been a presentation for ES Repair. You will find other do-it-yourself videos and tutorials on our channel at www.youtube.com user esrepair. Thank you for watching.